Hello and welcome to Game Night News. I'm your host, Sean D. Knight, and this is your PC Gaming News for Monday, March 6, 2017. Our first story for this evening, Mass Effect Andromeda is set to be released around March 21st in North America and the 23rd in Europe, and will feature both a single-player and multiplayer campaign. Regarding the game's multiplayer campaign, Mass Effect Andromeda producer Fernando Mello tweeted that the game's multiplayer would rely on peer-to-peer networking when asked on Twitter whether the game would rely on P2P or a dedicated service for its multiplayer campaign. A peer-to-peer network relies on one user hosting the match with other players connecting to it. The problem with peer-to-peer is that it relies on all participants to have a good connection, and should one player have a poor connection, it would cause everyone to lag during the match. Shortly before the release of Ubisoft's For Honor, leaked footage from a closed alpha test showed that the game would rely on peer-to-peer networking. The decision to rely on P2P has resulted in mixed reviews for the game on Steam. But for Mass Effect fans looking to play the game on PC, you will need to meet the minimum PC requirements. You will need a 64-bit version of Windows 7, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10, Intel Core i5-3570, or an AMD FX-6350, 8 gigabytes of RAM, an NVIDIA GTX 660 2GB, or an AMD Radeon 7850 2GB, at least 55GB of free space, and DirectX 11. Mass Effect Andromeda will be released March 21st in North America and March 23rd in Europe for the PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4 platforms for $59.99 US dollars. For Honor's Season Pass has been allegedly leaked, revealing two new upcoming DLC heroes for the game. Reddit user Bones404 posted what appears to be internal screenshots on the For Honor Reddit forums of the Centurion and Ninja. The aesthetics of the two heroes seems to be similar to the style of For Honor, and two of the silhouettes on the Season Pass's promo image seems to match these two heroes. Ubisoft has yet to comment on the validity of the screenshots or how much the heroes will cost individually should players decide to forego paying $40 for the season pass and instead pick and choose which heroes they would prefer to play. For Honor is available for $59.99 on the PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4 platforms. Rockstar Games has announced that new content is coming for Grand Theft Auto Online. According to the developer, the next title update, which is scheduled to be released in March, will come with an all-new style of stunt races that caters to the GTA Online special vehicles such as the Rocket Baltic, Ruiner 2000, and Blazer Aqua. Later on in the spring, players will be able to look forward to new game modes such as Resurrection, which will be a nostalgic homage to the 2D GTA era, and new vehicles like the Turismo Classic and Infernus Classic, which were first seen in Grand Theft Auto 3 Liberty City. Also coming in the spring and summer 2017 will be another massive update where players will take on crazy militias and be able to purchase new weaponized vehicles and participate in new missions. Riot Games has won its lawsuit against League of Legends scripting site League Sharp. The League of Legends developer will be awarded a $10 million payout and has obtained a court-ordered ban for League Sharp. Riot filed the lawsuit back in August 2016 in response to the proliferation of hacking tools which allegedly allowed players to automate League of Legends games in order to artificially increase their player rank. In addition to selling the use of this software, League Sharp was also accused of attacking Riot servers and leaking private information about a Riot employee. League Sharp charged $15 a month for use of its scripting service and $50 per month for players to be able to automate multiple League of Legends accounts. In addition to the $10 million payout and ban on the distribution of software, Riot has also gained control of all League Sharp related sites. Sad news for gamers who are hoping to purchase Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 on April 4th. The game's release date has been pushed back again, this time to April 25th. CI Games CEO Merrick Tominski released a statement explaining, quote, We've worked tirelessly creating a whole new Sniper Ghost Warrior experience set in an ambitiously crafted open world new to the series. While it's an unfortunate decision to delay the game one last time, we believe these final changes will result in a better experience for players worldwide on day one, end quote. Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 will be released April 25th for the PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One platforms. Our final story for tonight, Overload, the spiritual successor to the classic PC game Descent, has launched a playable teaser ahead of its early access debut. Like the original PC franchise, 
Overload is a six degrees of freedom tunnel shooter with a sci-fi setting where players must traverse through winding tunnels of a large machine in order to locate and destroy the main reactor. Overload will be available on Steam Early Access March 13th. A link to its Steam page where you can check out the playable demo will be in the video description below. And that is your news for Monday, March 6, 2017. I'm your host, Sean D. Knight, and this was Game Night News, your source for the latest news in the video game industry. Good night, and good gaming.